My name is Kevin. Um, I'm one of the co-founders of Chattis, and uh, we are a messaging platform for meeting new people. <coughs> and as a background on myself, I recently graduated from Stanford with a degree in applied math and a master's in computer science. And actually, this originated from a class project in a graduate class at Stanford uh, back in November of last year. And our hypothesis was that we wanted to create a platform where we could actually predict uh, which type of people would like to get along and have conversations. Um, you may have all heard of the phenomenon of chat roulette um, that kind of swept the world in 2009, and then airtime kind of took a more proper approach at it um, in the years following. But we felt that there was still a, a fairly large uh, gap um, with no real offering for just meeting new people. Um, and that's where we come into play. So the way the product works is that we actually try to profile users based on what they talk about, uh, both explicitly and implicitly based on conversational content. And we try to match up with people um, that we think you'd like to talk to. Um, less far, we have had over 2.5 million people visit our platform, and every day we're getting about 40,000 uh, daily active unique users uh, that are passing over 4 million messages a day. Uh, we recently just launched a mobile apps uh, two weeks ago, and we already have close to 100,000 downloads. Um, so uh, we're growing pretty quickly. And I can just show you a quick demo here of the product, but as you can imagine, it's, it's fairly simple. So as you can see here, we have a uh, just a, a very brief profile. Uh, it's my name, age, gender, uh, share, share our high location, and a little, a little about. Based on this, uh, you can carry conversations on with people. So uh, as you can see here, I have numerous conversations being held at once. Um, so in many ways, this is pretty much just like any other messaging platform, um, with the sole exception of uh, of this functionality, which is finding someone to talk to. And this, um, what we actually do, is um, is in real time, well, really didn't want to talk to me, but in, in real time, what we have is a, is a queue of, say, 100 people, and we actually run a, a batch process to try and optic pair up users in, um, in, a, in, in a manner such that we think um, that the people enjoy talking to each other. Now, obviously, this, this doesn't always work out. In fact, what we've seen is that the over 18 crowd in general is, 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 is a hard demographic to crack. So our fastest growing population thus far is the under 18 crowd. Um, they already account for about 70% of our users and over half, uh, over 80% of our messages as well. Um, so in general, you see people talking about all sorts of topics. Uh, kids, kids generally talk about you know, after school, they come back and they're bored and they just talk about life. Uh, the older crowd, uh, we can see some more romantic tendencies being formed as well. Uh, men enjoy talking to women more so on, on the older side. Um, but our, our goal for this platform is to really, uh, is to really break down those barriers of just you know, dating as, as a way of meeting people. We believe that fundamentally communication should, should happen um, for a variety of reasons. And, and just, just out of principle, we believe that meeting new people is, is very interesting. Um, so at, at a high level, I guess you could say that like, Facebook says that they want to connect the world in a, in a global manner. But we believe that it won't really work because it's, it, it still mirrors a real world social network. We believe that the only truly way to create a global community is through something like this, which is more anonymous and uh, and, and, and more random. Um, yeah, and, and and some features I guess you can see is you, you can add a friend, you can you can do video chat uh, on our mobile apps. Uh, we're about to implement picture sharing as well, so kind of like a Snapchat type of feature. Um, yeah, I think that's all. Thanks. ask you, uh, so this is a way of, of, of having a random conversation with people around the globe. Is there any way of, of making that level of connection deeper? Or exactly. So actually one of the features we're about to implement is a college community where if you, if you sign up with a .edu email, uh, you will be talking with other students either from your campus or from other colleges as well. Uh, so again, take kind of the Facebook approach. Uh, but in that case, it will be more location-based uh, around a campus. Um, we can also add in filters for location uh, as well. Uh, but we're just trying to stay away from just being like another scout type of app as well. Uh, we believe that they shouldn't just be limited based on location. Uh, there's a lot of value in talking to someone from halfway across the world, like from Indonesia, for instance. Yeah. So, so uh, if I understand you, your uh, uh, um, credibility is it, it's strictly based on uh, on what you've already chatted. Uh, chat about and also based on a, a profile that you can establish here, and, and, and this will also become um, more sophisticated as we move forward. Yeah. Not, is, is that the whole profile? Uh, this is it. This is it right now. Exactly. Okay. Um, but our real value is that we do store all your conversations. So right now we have about 200 million conversations in our database that we try to parse. Yeah. <laughs> have you given 
some thought to how to monetize this? Uh, monetization? Um, yeah, we used to have some banner ads, but once we raised our round of funding, we turned them off. Um, in general, we see ads, of course, is, is, is possible because we can profile users fairly accurately. And also, uh, we're going to do in-app purchases. So there we have a freemium model where, say, you can only meet n number of people per day. And if you want to meet more, you, you can pay a dollar or something like that. Go ahead. You, you had a question? Will you be adding live video at, this, at any point? Yeah, so on the desktop version, we actually already have video chat working. Um, So this is kind of like a Skype call where basically, um, where essentially they have to accept it. So this this prevents type of like, um, so obviously Chatterlight had a big problem with with, with video being a little more uh, abusive at times. Um, so here they actually have to accept the call before uh, they say anything. So we found this already kind of, kind of eliminates the spam problem. If you're just cr chatting across countries, uh, what is the language I mean I don't so it's primarily English speaking countries is is, is what we found are there the, options for other languages um, we do not currently have widespread language support now so our most popular countries are US Great Britain India primarily English speaking countries questions mm -hmm. you say that 70% are, are under age you know, think, so, yeah, exactly so we actually do make sure that the under 18 kids talk to under 18 kids as well and we flag anyone who changes their profile too many times. And moving forward, we'll probably include Facebook Auth as well to make sure that, uh, that, that, that there's no egregious behavior happening. Uh, but in general, we've seen that there is a very strong trend these days for the younger crowd to adopt these type of messaging platforms. Obviously, Snapchat is taking off a lot. And we see a lot of tendencies for Whisper as well. Uh, we think this kind of playing along in, into that type of trend of, of anonymity and, and messaging. Cool. Thank you.